Hello, I'm Mike from Music Radio Creative. In this video, I'll show you how to live stream anything. Could be your webcam, your computer, your video game to YouTube. So this is a full beginner tutorial to get started. The software I'm going to be using, and I highly recommend it, is Wirecast One. I actually use the pro version of this software for our Music Radio Creative live streams. It's fantastic at combining multiple sources, uh, adding overlays, uh, doing all kinds of green screen things. But let's get started with the basics. That's getting a video and audio source into Wirecast and streaming it to YouTube. Uh, so here it is, Wirecast 1. This is how you'll see it when you load it for the first time. Let's make it nice and big so it fills the whole screen. First thing to focus on are these two screens, the black screen and the live broadcast area. So this area represents what will be going out on your live stream when you start broadcasting. And this will be a preview window of things uh, so you can get them all ready to go out on your live stream. Let me give you an example. Let's add a source to Wirecast. And you do this by picking one of the layers. I recommend layer two on Wirecast one, uh, as that gives you options above and below your first source. So click the plus button and look for video capture. If it's not selected, if it's on all and you get all these devices, just go for video capture and you can add uh, one system device to Wirecast One, which is enough for basic live streaming. I'm going to pick the Logitech Brio 4K stream webcam. It's brilliant. Really like it. Click add and within moments it will boot up and oh, there I am on the screen, but I'm tiny. I'm a postage stamp. How do I get that sorted? Well, luckily, when you add your source down here, you'll get source properties over here popping up. And as you can see, the video settings are something really strange, uh, strange resolution. Uh, so your webcam may differ in the different options it uh, offers. But for the Logitech Brio 4K, I can go right the way up to 4K for this stream. I'm just going to go to uh, 1920 by 1080. So 1080 uh, resolution stream, that'll be enough. MJPEG Open DML tends to be the best encoder or video setting uh, for a Logitech Brio 4K. So note that if you're using that particular camera, click that and you'll suddenly see, whoa, ah, a little change there. It got a little bigger, a little sharper. Uh, and then if I go over here to this little tab here, that's the shot layer properties. You'll see now I have some options here. If I click scale to fit, aha. Perfect. That looks really good. Now I fit in the, the preview window. And if I want to put this live into what will eventually go to my live stream, I just take this and I hit the spacebar button. And there I am now in the live stream area. Now you can see that's all very well. There are visualizations of me. There's a green screen behind me. I'll show you how to get that working in a second. But it'd be nice if my listeners could hear me. And these sound meters have absolutely no audio on them. Uh, so in Wirecast 1, yes, you can add audio sources galore. Just click plus. Again, I'm going to do this on layer 3 now. So underneath layer 2, which is my visual, I'm going to add some audio. Just click audio capture. All of your audio devices will be there. So if you've got an audio interface, a mixer, something like that, you can add it. For me, I know I need Soundcraft Master Audio. That's all the audio that's coming out of my Soundcraft mixing desk. Click add and lo and behold, here in preview, you can see a little flicking meter. That is me talking. That's exactly what I want. Uh, but it will not be live until again I do the same thing. I select the source, hit the space bar. That's the simple way. Oh, and you can hear me echoing back. If you want to get rid of that echo, because that's rather annoying, you just switch off the headphones like that and no echo anymore. That's essentially you previewing what will go out on the live stream. We don't need that. So headphones off all gone. Now we can see the audio is going out to the live stream or will be and the video will be going out to the live stream too. OK, I'm pretty much ready to set up my live streaming with YouTube. So to do this, I would go into the output menu of Wirecast One, click output settings, loads of stuff you can do here. Uh, if you've got your own RTMP server, if you know what that means, by all means, set that up and do your own custom streaming. Um, but Wirecast has a bunch of integrations uh, from the latest LinkedIn Live to, of course, yes, you bet they support Facebook Live, uh, all kinds of options there to integrate with Facebook, Twitch, another popular one, Vimeo. But we're going to focus on YouTube in here. Everything is much the same, really. They all have super integrations where you just log into the app uh, and and then Wirecast takes care of the rest. So for YouTube, I'll click that. I'll click OK. It'll pull everything up. Uh, so here we're going to give it a name. We'll call it Mike's Live Stream. Destination is YouTube. 
Encoding here, uh, these are all presets set up by Wirecast to be optimum for YouTube. At the moment, I can see a 720p uh, is selected and it's using my uh, Apple encoder, so the Apple hardware encoder on my graphics processing unit. I can go up to 1080p if I want, or I can use a software encoding unit, uh, that's the X264. But for now, I'll stick with my um, Apple encoder and I'm going to go for 1080p, 30 frames per second. That should be enough for me. Okay. Audio track selection, no need to worry about this, leave it as track one. Uh, authenticate, this is where the fun comes in. Uh, you can then pop in your settings. I'm just gonna move this off screen while I type in my username and password because you don't really need to see that, do you? Uh, click sign in and it's signing in. Okay, cool, now it's come up with a bunch of options. So if you've got multiple YouTube channels, you just select them like that and you allow Ycast to manage your YouTube channel and lo and behold, now it has full access to stream out on YouTube. You don't even need to go over to YouTube and set anything up, Ycast pulls this all in. So we've got a live now event, uh, we can edit the event name here, we can go and we can change the description, we can change the name, so Wirecast test for instance, uh, this is a test live stream, uh, and you can change uh, the privacy, at the moment it's locked on public, of course that's what I want, uh, so click save like that, and that is then all good to go, uh, and it will create a, uh, a live stream to go out uh, to wherever you select, okay, so this is perfect for my needs right now. I'll click OK to that. When I want to go live and do the live stream, I just click this button here. I'm not going to do it now because that will put me live uh, to my YouTube channel uh, with hundreds of, hundreds of thousands of people watching. Uh, and as this is a test, uh, I'm just showing you. But that is the button you click. As soon as you click that button, anything in this window over here and any audio over here will go live direct to YouTube, to Facebook, wherever you want to stream. So let's wrap this up with one last tip. Wirecast One, it's a great option. Uh, from Telestream. They've been in the game of live streaming for a long time. This is professional software. It's it's different to the free stuff that you can get, the free and open source stuff, uh, which is good, but this is a step up uh, in professionalism and the amount of stuff you can do, the number of sources you can stream to, the number of layers you can mix together. Really, really good. Like I say, I use Wirecast myself, and with Wirecast One now, you have a really affordable option of Wirecast to go and download. Um, so yeah, just to wrap this up, I'm going to give you one more tip and I'm going to show you how to use a green screen behind you uh, to do all kinds of cool stuff and add in your own backgrounds. Uh, so over here, back on my webcam source, I'm going to click the person icon up here and now I can use chroma key by ticking that and you'll see something weird already happens. Uh, I need to pick a color with a mouse, so click pick color with mouse, I get a little pipette and then I can go click, oh yes, nice, that's it. Uh, so that is basically done. I don't need to do any more. Now I can put that live to my stream. See now that goes black. And if I want, as I've got this edge here and this edge here doesn't look very good, I can go back over to this little mixer type icon and I can drop down crop and then I can crop left. See like that. And I can crop right. So crop right into my green screen, pop that live. And now, ooh, that was quite a nice, uh, curtains drawing in kind of effect, wasn't it? Now I'm on a black screen, a black background. Um, now I can put something else in the background. Obviously, I've got my audio here on layer three. If I want, I can grab the uh, the title of this. I can pop it up onto layer one. Uh, and therefore, that allows me to add a new source here on layer two. Uh, so let's do so. Uh, let's just add a, a background, for instance. Uh, a solid color is pretty good. So let's go for solid color here. Uh, and I can change this to whatever color I fancy in the rainbow. Uh, so maybe maybe I'm feeling in a bit of a, a pink mood here. Yes, let's go for a, a little bit of light pink. Perfect, that'll do for me. Uh, and again, we go back to the mixer icon and we scale it to fit, stretch it to fit. There we go, it fits the whole screen. So I'm gonna put the pink layer live. You see, now it goes to pink and then I'll put my webcam layer live again. And here I am on a rather nice uh, pink what was green screen, but now it's a pink screen. Uh, and if I want, because I've got my microphone cutting off over there, I can just move my shot over like that. Uh, update that by hitting space bar. Ooh, I whoosh over to the, the correct side. Now I have lovely pink, but I can put anything in the background here. I can get my own background. I can get a, a photo of a beach, uh, a photo of whatever you want. Stick it in the background, put your logo in the background, anything you need. And that is how you get started with Wirecast One. Fantastic software, which is available to download from MR. .fm forward slash Wirecast1. 
Go there now, mrc.fm forward slash Wirecast1. Enjoy live streaming to YouTube or Facebook or wherever you choose to. Wirecast seems to integrate with most services. And if you do have any questions, I'll do my best to answer them in the comments. Just post down below and let me know your questions about live streaming. And enjoy it. It's great fun. (laughs) 